Welcome to Fabricadabra's Embroidery Edition. Today we'll be learning the straight, running, and back stitches. These are the three most basic stitches that you will use in embroidery. We're going to begin with the straight stitch. The straight stitch is very much what the name implies. You go over one stitch length, however long that stitch length you want, not too long though, and you come up from behind and you go over that stitch length and then you go back down to the back of the uh, fabric. Now you can also uh, certainly make your stitches go in whatever direction you want. You can also combine straight stitches to make things like stars and possibly flowers. Now you can use your thread as a guide, but right here I'm using my needle and simply to, to guide so that my line is straight up and down. Now next up, I'm gonna show you the diagonal, which is very easy to do, and I'm sure you would be able to figure out it all on your own. And I'm not really using my needle too much as a guide, I'm just kind of drawing a, a diagonal line with the tip of the needle, and then pushing it through to the back. And there we go. We now have some lovely straight stitches. When you're finished stitching, of course, you always knot it in the back so that the embroidery floss doesn't pull through. Next up, we have the running stitch. And it's very similar to the straight stitch, except that it's gonna keep going for as long as you want that your stitched line to go. So come up from the back on the left side. We usually work the stitch left to right, although you can work it right to left if you want. So instead of going all the way through with our needle tip at the end of the stitch line, we're going to just put the tip of the needle through and then push it up through the next stitch that we wanna make, through the beginning of it, just like I'm doing here. And so we're gonna do another one the same way. I'm gonna put my needle down through the end of that, where that stitch is and then I'm going to just uh, <laughs> bend it underneath and push it up through the point, the beginning point of that last stitch. Now, because this is my last stitch, uh, I don't have to do that again, so I'm just gonna go straight through and knot it off, of course, in the back. And that is your running stitch. Next up is the back stitch. And the back stitch is a very handy uh, stitch and it's a very basic stitch and very easy to master. So the way I do it is I come up through the back on the left side and I do one straight stitch forward. And choose your length based on how you would like that. And pull it all the way through. And then from the back, I'm gonna go over one stitch length from the end of that first stitch, okay? But I'm gonna come up through the back. And then I'm gonna bring my needle backwards to the end of the first stitch and push it back down through the same hole. Hence why we call this the back stitch. And again, I'm going one stitch over from the end of that second stitch, but from underneath, and I'm gonna come up at the end of it. And then I'm gonna go backwards and into the hole at the end of the second stitch. And then I'm just gonna keep on doing that until I reach the end of my stitch line. 
Now, uh, you don't just have to do lines uh, or straight lines. You can also do curved lines using the back stitch. Um, it's very simple to do. You just need to make sure that you use m much smaller stitches when you get to the curves. So I'm gonna show you that in just a moment, but I'm gonna finish up these last few little, little back stitch, regular sized back stitches, okay? So now you can see I've drawn a little curved line at the end. I'm gonna finish up these these little these regular size stitches okay and then you're gonna see me making a very very tiny back stitch and I'm gonna keep repeating that angling it along the line as I go now you could do this freehand without any lines drawn, but it's much harder because you're eyeballing it. So you're kind of guesstimating. <laughs> so if you want something that's more precise looking, I suggest uh, drawing it out first in some sort of water soluble pen or a fabric pen or marker so that um, you can follow along the drawn line that you like. And you see these tiny stitches allow you to have a much smoother curve to your, to your curved line than you would get if you used very large stitches. If you lose, use the same size stitches as my first stitches, it would be um, a very angular curve, <laughs> not, not so much a curve. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.